These are cars of the 20s, unique in the skill and craftsmanship that went into their construction. Fortunes were spent preparing and raising them. The First World War had ended and long-lasting peace with unlimited prosperity seemed to lie ahead. These are cars of the golden age of motor racing. Now this is an interesting little car. Looks like a racer. Could be a whole lot of fun. What do you say we take a look at this thing and see what's going on? Welcome to Road Odyssey. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And if you like the videos that I provide, please subscribe. And if you're on Rumble, well, please follow. I appreciate it very much. So, I went to Hickman Creations and saw this uh, interesting Bugatti uh, replica race car and walked around, got these couple of photographs, and this thing was stunning. It was really, really cool. Looked like uh, pretty good workmanship as well. So, I thought, you know what? This would be a fun car to show y'all and to investigate. I found this file inside the car, 1927 Bugatti Type 35B. Not sure the date of the chassis and all that, but certainly in the 1960s. Uh, believing it to be a classic motor carriages car. So anyway, I thought I would look into these facts. And I began by a Google search and just looked at images of a Bugatti 1927 Type 35B. And then I found this, kit cars from the uh, carriage manufacturer themselves. And didn't see much right there, but then I found this one, classic motor carriages. And it's like, okay, this, you know is extremely familiar. We've all seen like the Excaliburs and stuff. And then I came out to this website. I'll have some links below for all this. And this website ended up having a list of their cars and on here was the classic Bugatti. And here are a couple of the old photographs of advertisements for it. And it's like, yep, yeah, that kind of looks like it. Lastly, I came across this ad with a little red car down at the bottom, the Custom Bugatti. This video clip is from February 23rd, 2023. And so this is when I first spotted it and thought, oh, this is fun. Uh, so just a really quick hit and run walk around on this thing. still there come March 14th and it was more out in the open so I could give you a proper walk around on this so that's what I thought I would do I'll play a little music over this and just let you enjoy all the neat uh, I would say craftsmanship and thought put into this car it really is <laughs> it's cool I would love to drive this thing curiosity had spikes so I thought I would look into the 27 type 35b found this original uh, worth millions 
it's uh, got all kinds of information about it. I'll have a link on this down below as well. So 20s Grand Prix car. Uh, it was the one to beat. The iconic body with the horseshoe radiator remains instantly recognizable to collectors of any generation. So this had either a 2.0 or 2.3 liter with or without a supercharger. So uh, it was built either for just good fast circuit racing or for endurance races. They were easy to drive, agile, and shot to a top speed of 125. Pretty cool. Now this is an actual Volkswagen 1967 kit car um, of the extreme degree. Uh, to me, this thing is just absolutely stunning, and I'm sure it drives magnificently, although this looks more like it's a paperweight. It is so beautiful. It looks like it's just going to sit in a museum garage forever, um, which is kind of a shame. I would love to see these things get out and driven around. Now, this is one from Barrett Jackson, a 1928 Type 35B built on a 1962 Volkswagen chassis. The motor is 1538cc in the rear. And this says it's got a trunk in the front, but from the photographs we saw from the Hickman Creations car, uh, it had a gas tank up there. All right, couldn't resist, bring a trailer. So here, this blue one, $233,000 in 2020. And then they had this white one, in 2021, sold for 12750 So what do you think this little jewel at Hickman Creations is worth? And is it something that you would enjoy to have for real? Or would you just blow it off and move on? Well, that was fun. Thank you so much for watching my Road Odyssey video. And if you like the videos that I provide, please subscribe. I thank you very much. And if you are in Rumble, please follow. That would be very much appreciated as well. Y'all relax. Take it easy. I'll see you later. Bye.
electric circuit for Bugattis, and a green one driven by an Englishman, Williams, leads for most of the time. He is, however, challenged and for a time actually passed by a vast white Mercedes, this difficult and unsuitable car being driven by Caracciola. It is said that Williams only had top gear left when he won. The last great race of the 20s is one of the fastest, the Brooklyn's 500, a handicap round the outer circuit with the accent on sustained high speed. Many names have faded away from racing, Delage, Duesenberg, Fiat, Sunbeam. And this is to be one of the last wins for the Bentley Works team. The twenties are nearly over and the company is in financial difficulties. The stock market on Wall Street is crashing and the silent film is giving way to the talkies. Okay, sir,